Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and I'm here with our senior draft analyst, Chris James. And Chris, now that the Shrine game is wrapping up, you know next week is the Senior Bowl. Who are some guys that you're keeping an eye on in this upcoming week of practices, intense practices that start on Tuesday? Well, I'm looking at the guy who really shined in the playoff series for Ohio State. That's Devin Smith, the wide receiver. Uh, he tracks the ball well in the air. I want to see how he actually does with performing, going in and out of breaks, going against better cornerback uh, talent on a daily basis. I want to really dive into whether or not he's that type of receiver who can be an every down guy. Yeah, uh, a lot of guys look at, I mean to cut you off, but a lot of guys are looking at his route running and they're going to be, in, they, they want to see how well he can do running routes because right now it just seems like streaks, crossers, you know, posts, things of that nature. They want to see him do the little things that make the receiver great. Absolutely, and that's what I'm looking at as well. Mm -hmm. And from the South squad, I'm looking at Garrett Grayson. You know, we know who the number one and two quarterbacks are going to be. The battle is for number three. Will it be Bryce Petty? Will it be Garrett Grayson? This kid has popped on the scene. He had a big year uh, with a coach who everyone is really kind of talking about how much of an offensive genius he is. So I want to see if this guy can actually go through his progressions, how he does it, with safeties who can really hawk the ball. So that's a guy who I want to see if he's going to be able to be that third quarterback in this draft. But the one thing that people look at with quarterbacks is how well they you know, are able to drive the football in tight windows. And he got a lot of benefit from having the play action passing game because we know Colorado State can run the heck out of the football. They had good tight end play. So we're going to learn a lot about Grayson in this ball game. Now, who are two guys that you are under the, that are under the radar players that you're looking to see a little bit more against higher competition. Zach Hodges on the North Squad out of Harvard, co Ivy League decent defense player of the year, a guy who really I want to see how well he performs in space mm -hmm. against talent that might be a little bit higher on the uh, grade of speed and size and whatnot. Also, see how he is coming off the edge if he's going to play in a three-four scheme on the next level or a four-three scheme. How he can actually do both. So that's one guy that I want to look into. And for the South squad, uh, David Johnson, a running back from Northern Iowa. Mm -hmm. uh, will he be this year's Terrence West, a guy who kind of pops on the scene? Uh, you always see a guy from a smaller school at that running back position be successful because they tend to play behind lines that understand things, but they don't have the massive guys who can just push people around. Will this guy be able to benefit from having more of that talent in front of him? in the stage. And you look at what he does well, in addition to his running skills, he can catch the football. So you may see him more along the lines of an H-back or sometimes they may utilize him as that one back in the backfield, a Marcel Reese type of a guy. So I'm interested to see him as well. I saw him versus uh, North Dakota State. He had a pretty big game. See him now, top competition, like you mentioned, should be great. So for more Senior Bowl coverage, visit our website at footballgameplan.com slash 2015 Senior Bowl and also follow Chris on Twitter at CJFlorida9.